Hello everyone, it's DJ Odyssey here. I had to make another little video. It's not quite a rant, but it's something I can laugh at because, well, remember those Covington kids that uh, all the people started to attack and said that they were being racist and were harassing some Native American and then the actual story started to come out when people actually watched the entire video and showed that they were the ones being attacked and everything else. Well, now, there's some fun news on this one again today. Well, it came out, I think, two days ago, but I just saw it, and, well, I'm getting a chuckle out of it because the lawyer for Sandman, the one kid that was in right up front of the whole thing, his lawyer sent out letters to the New York Times today, and 50 others may precede suits. Oh yeah, ha 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 ha. All these lawyers that are for Nick Sandman and his family sent out letters to media outlets, individual journalists, celebrities, Catholic organizations that came out against them at the beginning without knowing what was going on. Yeah. Let me see here. The list includes 50 plus names like presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren. She was one of them. Actress Alyssa Milano. Look at all these journalists. Maggie Haberman, Anna Cabrera, David Brooks, media outlets like the New York Times, CNN, GQ, TMZ, the Diocese from Covington and Lexington, and the Archdiocese of Louisville and Baltimore. They all got letters because they didn't want to retract what they said and continued to push the wrong narrative even though the truth came out. And they still wanted to blame it all on the kids instead of the racist group that was yelling at the kids first or the Native American that walked up to them, not the kids surrounding them. No, he walked right on up there to him. Yeah. False reports. Yeah, that's what they're going after. False reports. Uh, harm allegedly done to the teens. Yeah, because all this reporting got all these people, all these liberals fired up and started making threats against the kids and wanted to get them out in the open, tell people where they lived, attack their families, get their families fired from their jobs. This is how the liberals work, folks. They got something against you, even though it may be wrong that they got against you, they'll still attack. Yeah, let's scroll down here because they've got a list of everyone who's got the letters, excuse me. The Washington Post, The New York Times, CNN, The Guardian, NPR Radio, TMZ, The Atlanta Media Group, Capitol Hill Punny Publishing Corp. Um, ooh, Aaron Burnett's on that list. S.E. Cup's on that list. Uh, we keep going and going. There is a whole lot of names on the Joy Reid and Chuck Todd. <laughs> HBO and Bill Maher. Bill Maher was really interesting because it was well over a week when he went on his show and was still pushing the narrative wrong after the truth was completely out there. And he kept doing it. Yeah, loony liberals. Oh, look. Here's one of the new congresswomen. Ilhan Omar. Then we got Elizabeth Warren. You know, fake Pocahontas. Kathy Griffin. Yeah, Alyssa Milano and Jim Carrey. Yeah, them are three really loony liberal Hollywood types right there. In my opinion. It's my opinion, but they look and sound loony as hell to me. Yes, they did. They continue to do it, too, especially Kathy Griffin and Jim Carrey. They're just, like, horrible. Uh, all through, hell, all these. Look at all these names. 
Savannah Guthrie, Andrea Mitchell. Yeah, we 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 know those names from the media. We know them. This whole group in here, gee, it's all WMBC. Well, no, not WMBC, but you know, I had to steal that from Howard Cern, Private Parts, WNBC. Yeah, the old NBC loons from MSNBC. Yeah. They know they crossed the line. Do they want 12 people in Kentucky to decide their fate? I don't think so. You know, most, pretty much most of these are going to settle out of court and everything else. They're going to hand over a bunch of money and say, try to get it to go away. But I'm sure there will be a couple of them that try to fight it and say it's their free speech and say but no you can't do free speech to attack somebody and try to cause them harm the ones i would be watching closely are these last five here because elizabeth warren said she's running for president is she going to pay off a bunch to try to sweep it under the rug? You know, it's going to be just thrown right out there if she continues to run, along with all her other garbage, kind of like her apologizing to the Native Americans just the other day for uh, that DNA test. Yeah, that's really smart. You sit there and you proclaim for all these years that you're in a group to get ahead as a tenured professor then she claims well I didn't say it they just no she was doing it on purpose because nobody sits there and sees it listed and if she did not want that to be pushed she would have corrected them but no she kept going on for years plus she sent in to that cookbook competition or whatever it was over in France that wanted Native American recipes and she sent one in saying it was an old family recipe come on she's nothing but a lion loon and then we got Ilan Omar oh yeah she's that a Palestinian nutcase that they've elected man what is wrong with them people up in Michigan are they that brain damaged are they that idiotic oh anyway so yeah I wanted to do this little thing while the sports ball was going on I ain't been watching it I did briefly see a score that was three to three but you know who cares the Bears aren't there I don't really care well I do to care I want the Patriots to lose the Patriots suck yeah but that's my opinion too I can have my opinions because I am an American but yeah all these idiots that wanted to pile on a 16 year old kid and the only reason that they were doing it was because he was wearing a MAGA hat that is the only reason that all these leftists wanted to attack him you know it's pretty sad that the leftists have got to go now and say a MAGA hat is the new clan outfit they're freaking morons if they would sit there and actually look back through their history, Bill Clinton, when he was running for his first presidency, used to say the phrase, make America great again. Yeah, Bill Clinton said that back in the 90s. So, should we call Bill out now, liberals? Should we call him out? Just because of four words? They're idiots. They're morons. They're incompetent. But anyway, this is the odd one. I'm getting out of here for the night. And I will see you again soon.